Welcome to wikiriki.com. Here is on the very important interview questions and answers we are going to discuss. My name is Venkat. I am a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. You are able to see my profile in microsoft.com. Apart from this, I got almost 16 international awards and among them, 9 are from Microsoft. Here is a question. How do you handle rude or upset customer? So here is the key to handle the situation. So some of the key points we need to handle the situation. So remain calm first. Once the customer is approaching you, you have to remain calm. And we should not take it personally. Use your best listening skill to absorb everything. Actively sympathize. Apologize gracefully. Find a solution. Take you a few minutes on your own. These are the key points to handle your rude or upset customer. Here, this is a hint. Okay, here is a sample. With much respect and understanding, we have to handle the customer. Remain calm. The number one rule of the customer service is to never lose your temper with the customer. No matter how rude he is being, losing your temper with the customer will only escalate the situation and could quickly result in your termination. Don't take insults personally. The key is to remember that no matter what the customer is actually saying. The real cause of this problem has nothing to do with you as a person. Repeat a calming mantra to yourself internally. Listen and learn what the real issue is. If a customer is being rude to you, it's possible that you are a co-worker made a mistake. Or perhaps the customer did not get something he was supposed to get. Whether or not the customer's behavior is appropriate to the situation. The key is to listen his problem and try to understand what the actual situation is so that we can resolve it. So this is how you have to answer for this kind of question. Here is the second question. Question 2. Why are manhole covers around? A round manhole covers cannot fall through its circular opening. Whereas a square manhole could fall. If I rotate it, it will fall. And if it was inserted diagonally in the hole, if I made diagonally, it will fall into the hole. A circular cover doesn't need to be rotated or precisely aligned when placing them on the opening. A round manhole cover is easily moved and rolled. We cannot do with this one or any other shape. Here are some of the additional answers. Round tubes are the strongest shape against the compression of air around them. So the cover of the tube would naturally be round as well. It is easier to dig a circular hole. Round castings are much easier to manufacture using a lathe machine. That's why your manhole covers are round in shape. Here is the next question. Are you a goal-oriented person? Here is the end. Why the interview is asking this kind of question? Here are the below reasons. To find out if you set goals in your work. To find out your focus on the goals and the things to you hope to accomplish. And also to find out whether you have concentrated goals on detailed list. That's why they are asking this kind of question. Here is a sample. Obviously, yes. Yes, I am. I have several key goals set for my role that I am seeking to accomplish over the course of the coming year. Let me tell you about one of this. I recently accomplished a hand of schedule. So that you can give a practical example of your previous work where you tried to reach your goal. So here is another example. Yes, I am. I have quite a few goals that I have set for myself in my education, sir, and career preparation too. An example of achieving one of my recent goals was securing an internship this past summer. This is how you have to answer this question. Here is another question. Give me an example of a time you faced a conflict while working on a team. How did you handle that? That's the question. Here is a hint to answer this question. So these are the key points you should observe. 
First thing is that your interviewer wants to get a sense of how you will respond to the conflict. Suppose you got a fight with your team or something like that, how you will handle it? That's a question. The conflict questions are common because everybody wants to hire a good team player. Because your team will have multiple people. It is probably the most common behavioral question subject. Interviewers often ask about your team experiences and they like to ask specifically about one that involves a conflict or difficult person. Here is the sample. Sir, I recently had a conflict with an employee in another department who had a project which was dependent on work being done by myself and two other members of our team. He had sent an email blaming us of disrupting his project. I then glimpsed into our projects and timelines. We agreed to have a timeline that would help both of us to meet our goals. And the conflict was resolved because it became a major incident. This is how if I face a problem, I'll go in person, I'll explain it to him and I resolve the problem. This is how you have to answer this kind of question. Ah, oh, this is really interesting. Send me this pin or suntan lotion here. So they'll give you a pin and they ask you to sell it to check your marketing skills. There are exactly four sales skills the interviewer is looking. One is how you are going to gather the information, how you are going to respond to information and how you will deliver the information and I will ask for something to make it out, to achieve the goal. So these are the four important criteria for selling a product. So here is the simple sales framework. Find out how was their lastly used pin or suntan lotion. Sir, when you used this one last time, so that's the question you'll ask to gather the information whether he is using or not. You emphasize the importance of the activity by responding to the information by telling about the person one which you want to sell. If he's telling about his pin, I can tell what is the advantage of my pin and usage of the pin and sell something bigger than a pin. So you have to emphasize the pin or the given product more, your delivery information to set your mind and make him to buy, ask for the buy and close it. This is how you have to do it. Let's move on to the next question. Why do you want this job? Here is an int. So show how your skills match Show your enthusiasm for the job and show how you fit into the culture. So these areas you should know. So here is a sample. Sir, I would like to gain experience in this line of work because I feel that it will perfectly suit my skills. I feel I would should have direct hands-on knowledge and experience in this position at this stage of my career. And you can appreciate the company like this. I see this company not only as a positive work in Roman, but also a good opportunity to have my skills and qualifications, which makes a difference. We'll move to the next question. Why should we hire you? Why should we hire you is another common entry question that you can take you down the wrong road unless you've done some thinking ahead of time. So if an interviewer asks this question, the interview is giving you the opportunity to sell yourself. Why should we hire you? This is the benefit I got, so that's why I'm trying to work. So think of yourself as a product. Why should the customer buy? I think this is a big platform for me to start. This is a sample. To start building my career. My passion for excellence and moreover, I'm passionately committed to producing truly world results at any given time, sir. I'm prepared to further and gain more practical skills and knowledge. So you're trying to tell your advantage or strength for this particular job. This is another sample. Well, I believe that I am perfectly suitable candidate for this position you are entering for. I thrive under pressure. I am hardworking and I have no problems in working at odd hours. And I have a great desire 
to work in this area so this is how you can answer the question now let's move on to the question 8 tell me about yourself this is one of the basic question every interviewer will ask at the starting point to know about you here is a hint the most often asked question in interviews you need to have your short statement prepared in your mind Talk about things you have done and jobs you have held that relate to the position you are interviewing for. You should understand everything before answering this question. Here is the other way to ask this question. Tell me something about yourself or about you. I read your resume. Tell me about who you are or who is Venkat or something like that your name. How would other people describe about you? These are some of the other questions they will ask in the interview. So if you are a fresher, this is how you have to answer the question. First about you. Sir, hello sir or oh, madam. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. I'm John, completed my engineering from ABC College. And afterwards you have to talk about the degree. I've completed my schooling in ABC higher secondary school with the 87%. And you need to talk about your family. Coming to my family, my father is a businessman and my mother is a housewife. I'm having one brother studying class 10. About your hobbies, my hobbies are solving puzzles, surfing internet and drawing. Your goals, my long term goal vision is to get placed in a reputed company like you and enhance my technical skills even more better than you. And finally about your strength, my strength is I am more aggressive and interested to learn and acquire new technological concepts. This is how you have to answer the question. If considering you are an experienced candidate at these areas you need to cover. Hello sir madam, it's my pleasure to introduce myself, I'm George. Having three years of experience as a developer in a corporate sector. Let us specify your company experience. Successfully completed the online projects for an international client within the stipulated time. I was involved in particular area, analysis of the business or some of the specialization I have done. So you have to talk about your, your work details, what you have done for your previous customers in your previous job. And finally, you can talk extra, like additionally these things. My goals are my ethic is I never neglect an opportunity for my improvement and basically won't give up soon. I'll work for it until it's done. And here is my strength you can add. My strength is I used to work in team and reach goals on time, which always boost me up to complete the work on time with perfection. This is how you are to answer. Now let's talk about what's your strength. Here is the other way is to ask the question, what do you do best? Or what is an area where you are considered to be an expert? Or they may ask like this, is that an area where you can prove that you are the best? This is how they will ask the question. Here is the hint. It is important to study the requirement of the position before you appear for the interview. List of the strength on offer the ones that is this role demands. If it is a software engineer job, you have to tell like my strength is like uh, uh, developing programs. If it is a mechanical job, or you can tell about your mechanical skills, something like that. Here is a sample. Sir, I believe in myself that I can. Or any work will be done with a magical letter called confidence. These are some of the answers you can tell. Can adapt to any situations. Or my strength is my attitude. I like to take both success and failure in the same manner. This is how you can tell the sample. I got some additional sample for you. I consider myself as a quick learner who always wants to learn everything for a particular job or a particular position. I consider myself to be highly ambitious, hardworking, quick learner and self-motivated guy, which I believe are the essential qualities that anyone who wants to succeed in personal life should possess. I'm a fast learner and self-encouraged person. Always, I like to work with positive attitude in all situations. I have the capability to work with my team and implement new thoughts and new ideas. These are all some of the ans sample answers you can answer for this question. Any one. This is the final question. What's your weakness? 
So dismiss weakness in a positive ways. That's a hint. Highlight the points which will always show that you you have planned how to work work overcome it. Let's move on. Here is the other ways to ask this question: What areas are your weakest? What are these areas where you need to improve your skills? Are there areas where you need to develop your skills further? Or maybe you can ask like this: What would your boss say is the area where you need improvement? And here is the sample. I'm always willing to take up additional responsibilities, but I end up being overworked. So now I'm realistic about what I can do, so that I do work to the required standards. If you lack certain technical skills, which is crucial for the job, you can state that you are planning to take up a training course or certification to get over it. Maybe this is another weakness. My weakness is straightforward because some people don't like, and I can't say no when someone asks me for help. This is how you can answer this question. That's it. Thanks for watching our wikidiki.com videos. And if you're looking for more videos, go to youtube.com, search for wikidiki interview tips. And if you're looking for technology, it's wikidiki technology tutorials. And if you're looking for school, wikidiki school related videos. And for health and other stuff, it's got wikidiki health and entertainment. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular updates from us. And apart from this, if you have any questions or any doubts, you can contact us. You can post it as comment in our YouTube channel so that our expert team will answer it. And this is our contact number. You can send a WhatsApp message if you need anything. Here is our website and our Facebook URL. Thank you from wikidiki.com.